Hello everybody, JGC Anime here and welcome back to another review where today we are going to be reviewing Goblin Slayer. This is actually one I've wanted to review for a long time and now that the movie Goblin Slayer Goblin's Crown has come out I can give a full-fledged opinion even if the movie does feel exactly like the show. So yeah, let's hop right into this. So, what is Goblin Slayer? Basically, the main story is first we meet with this we like we meet this little girl who's like a priest who wants to be an adventurer and she joins up with the party only for her party to be completely swarmed by goblins while goblins are normally considered a very easy mob to defeat in video games it's not exactly the real case goblins can actually be quite annoying and quite painful to have to deal with and after her entire team gets completely slaughtered or maybe even the chance raped. We then have to, we then see her running away. And then right when she's trapped by some goblins, Goblin Slayer comes in. She joins him and they go off on missions to go and slay some goblins. So, one thing I'd have to say I really like about the story is, I think the action is really good. I really enjoyed the action in this show. I found it highly entertaining and I thought it was a very interesting approach and to everything, especially with the concept of, I thought the show was not going to be very good because Goblin Slayer doesn't exactly sound like something worth actually like fully watching. It actually sounds like something weird. It didn't really sound that good to me, but I'm amazed at how good this show had in, in like its story, its action and it had a lot of really good moments. One thing I definitely would have to dislike about it is the constant use of CGI knights, because because of how detailed Goblin Slayer is, they can't obviously animate him like 90% of the time smoothly. So they, they almost constantly have the CGI knight in his place and it's just super off-putting. I just, it just feels really, really weird. But, I, I still think he was pretty good. I thought the voice acting in it was good because again, I watched the dub and I don't care what you say. I love dubs and I may even make a video on it in the future if I feel like it, but I thought it was very entertaining and I'm actually amazed at how catchy its theme song is too. I really thought it would have been like this awkward opening that just wouldn't really fit with anything and it, it was such a good opening I've listened to it so many times I really enjoyed it and yeah if we're going into spoiler free thoughts I'd say there were a lot of really entertaining moments in this did I think everything was perfect no but I found that it like most of the time managed to keep me entertained I was constantly enthralled in the story with the characters and I thought it was a lot of fun there were tons of moments I laughed, moments I was just like, holy crap, this is crazy. And I just found a lot of enjoyment with the Goblin Slayer storyline and that I was kind of dumbfounded by. Like, how did I enjoy this show with such a weird name? I just, I'm amazed at how good it is. But that's all I can really say without spoiling too much. There's not really much I can say with spoilers at all either. But we're going to the spoiler section now. If you want to go to the conclusion of this and see the final review, here is like a timestamp. And yeah, I'm going to catch up five now and you can listen to the spoiler section if you want. It's all your choice. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so in the spoiler section, there were a few parts I was actually kind of just dumbfounded by with how crazy they were. Like, I don't, I, I don't really, I can't really say much about the movie, like Goblin Slayer Goblin's Crown, other than the fact that it felt just like the show, which isn't bad per se. It's still nice, but I can't really go into details. I may make a, a review about the movie in the future, so I don't want to say too much, but I still found the movie to be just as enjoyable as the show. Definitely my favorite storyline out of this season. Like, there's only been one season currently of Goblin Slayer out. I believe they're making a season two and I'll probably happily watch it because season one's final storyline has probably got to be my favorite. I thought it was really interesting and 
pretty dramatic too. Even if the whole season is all about just slaying goblins, I, I found it so entertaining. And I just really, really enjoyed it. Just everything about it was just so much fun. The action was amazing. The characters were really fun. And just everything about it was just so much fun. It's hard to make anything bad about it. Because again, the only major misstep in it was the CGI night that's just so off-putting. And it does have a good message behind it as well. Like how sometimes enemies you think are easy are not as easy as you think. People always say how easy it is to take down goblins. Like in video games, they're always super easy to take down. But in reality, there is way more to that. Like there is so much more to that that you never even realized. Especially with how in the final story arc of the show where everyone's gotten together to take on this like massive threat of goblins like the entire adventurers guild decided to take it on while the supposed hero of the story is off fighting some fantastically evil demon lord we're down here watching a bunch of people slay a bunch of goblins and it's amazing i just i am so happy that they kind of show that not every single story, like, not every single hero is the main character of the story. I really enjoy those premises. Like, sometimes, just because someone is the person who saved the day, it doesn't mean they're the ones who should be, like, focused on. I really like that. I, I am still also waiting for an anime for someone to make it where someone's in a medieval world and they run to someone who was isekai there and... They're the main character, not the isekai person. I really want that story to happen. <laughs> That's completely off topic. But I just found this show to be so dang entertaining. It was just so much fun. The story was, every single story arc was great. While I still think the last one was the best, I found the first and second one were all, they, like everything in this season were so freaking good. And I just, it's hard to say anything bad about it. Trying to list out the good might take like another five minutes, but I don't want to have to take that much time about just praising a show. But I did find a lot of entertainment in this show. The plot was good. The characters were good. Like everything about it was so good. If I had to pick something I disliked, um, I don't know. It's hard. There's really not that much I could say, because I don't really dislike anything about this show. Even the, like, in, like completely egotistical characters, I really like how they get put in their place constantly by the situations, and it's just so funny. Yet this show is so serious, and its action scenes are great. Everything about it is just so perfectly fit together that I can't really say that much bad stuff about it. Other than the bad CGI at one point, I think most of it is really well executed and I would happily watch a second season. And I would pay for it even, which I am already because Crunchyroll accounts cost money. Eh. Anyway, so yeah, here we are at the conclusion of my little review for this show. And I'd say I actually highly recommend it. It's not the most brilliant show out there, but it's very entertaining and I found a lot of enjoyment in this show. I would highly recommend it and I think it was really, really good. I personally rate this show an 8 out of 10. Other than a CGI night, I think that's super weird at times. I found this show to be an extremely fun ride and I would happily rewatch it all over again and it was just a lot of fun to watch that's it for this review and i thank you all for watching i'm jgc anime and i shall see you around peace